Well, it's haymaker time. Borrowing some equipment? Trust me, this is just the start of the equipment. We got a lot of equipment to get back to the farm yet. Let's get to it. I'm very impressed with this uh, heavy frame uh, John Deere tractor here. I'm most impressed by the interior because most of these old school, old iron tractors, especially the John Deere's, uh, it was uh, much to be desired with the interior. This one I'm pretty impressed with. Also, it's full of customization, which you don't usually see on the old tractors, which I always enjoy with my mods. Make it your own. Stay on the road, Stevio. We got Buckaroo's 16 bale trailer here. Uh oh. Look at all that black smoke. Is the deer gonna get her? We can do it. Alright, we'll pull it right in here with our huge equipment lineup here. Shut this old beautiful baby off. Alright, so. We are finally using the field boss. It's gonna be running the round baler. But we're not only round baling here. Of course, we got my favorite loader here. It's gonna be picking up the bales to put on our little uh, pride of the prairie. Uh, harvesting has been shut down so we can get this stuff baled up. So uh, all the harvesters here, man, they've been running. We still got more harvest to do though. Man, is that a, we got a major task. Hopefully we get some custom work too going on here. So I need to go get another baler picked up. So I'm going to take old uh, Chevy here, head on into my buddy's place. caught me lying. I could not get this uh, baler and tractor to ride on that trailer safely, so we ended up roading it. Got the 4000 series John Deere with a year-round cab on it, loader, and a John Deere 348. Little square baler. Got a little thrower on there on the back too. And I missed my turn, so, uh, yeah. Do a little loopy loop. Now we're heading in the right direction. Alright, this is the last of it. Little Timmy just had to take all the trailers at once. So we got three trailers coming down here. Big old train rolling through town. Probably should put our blinkers on, huh? Yeah, I think this is blinker worthy. Uh, uh, will they all make it over the tracks? The tracks are deadly. Oh, oh, see, I'm telling you, man, they have to redo the tracks in this town. Just look at that. We're going to destroy these trailers. And say it's about time to get started already. Man, preparation for this day is taking forever. All right, little square bailing is first. Try to back up this baler. It's kind of off weight to one side, so it's not the easiest. Unfold the baler, and we are ready to go. Now we just have to get over this perilous ditch. make it oh yeah we made her so we're gonna be bailing some corn stocks some corn 
So why would we are little square bailing it? It's kind of a niche market, so a lot of custom uh, hobby farms use this. You use this uh, corn stalks as a feed, or you can use it for bedding too. Bailing along here. Thing with the little square baler is you have a plunger that plunger has to take it and if you don't get at least we always try to get 12 plunges per bale it kind of makes the bales lopsided these harvesters they make some big windrows here and I'm missing a lot in the field you see it we are throwing them bales like crazy in the trailer Looks like we got this bale thrower set up just right. So it's not, sometimes you can have too much uh, friction in there and they'll shoot them bales off the back or shoot them to one side, one of the two. Any of you ever dealt with a bale thrower like this, it can be a little, gotta have them touch set up right for the weight of bales that you're making. I don't think we're gonna make it to the other end with this trailer. Definitely don't want to have to pick up all these bales by hand. Look at that thing shoot. Shooting them out like rapid fire them bales. Whew. Well, it looks like we might have left one in the field. Oh well. Oh, oh. Looks like we gotta do some stacking. That trailer looks pretty full to me. Taking a break from Little Square Bailing and uh, let's, let's start rolling this stuff. I did think that it's going was going to take longer to actually run through or more of these rows to run through uh, a couple trailers full of little squares, but boy was I wrong. And we did not take long whatsoever. Running the field boss. I didn't realize this, but it has a little, uh, almost a sight in the front. As the little, uh, center marker up there. A little different. You sure can roll faster than you can little square bailing. That's for sure. It's good being in the field boss. I haven't used it enough. A little bit too carried away. Got push on the brakes. Where, where the heck is the clutch at in this thing? Do not have a clutch? Uh oh.
just about done. I don't think we're going to put in windrows any more corn stalks. Uh, man, is there a lot of bales out there. We need to get these picked up so we can hopefully get to fall tillage right away. And uh, they need to be brought over to our cattle yard. Some of them um, are already sold to some of our neighbors. So need to get them picked up before the rain ruins them in the field. Man, I do like the cleanness of this cab here. We're going to get in this. We're going to take it to the other end of the field here. Watch out for three-wheeler. Uh-oh. Yeah. Man, I've really got to make more some type of bridge or something across this thing. Oh, is it going to make it? Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Buck. All right, we made it. We're going to head, we're going to pick up from the far end, pick our way to this end. I think I'm going to experiment how many bales I can actually get on this trailer. I think I can get more than 16. One thing I hate about carrying two bales with this uh, loader is uh, it gets a little jiggly up in there. That'd be nice and easy. That's a lot of weight for the front axle of this tractor. Line it up just right here. Oh, yep, yeah, see? Get a little tips of ruse. It's all right if you don't get them all nice and smacked up there at first. Uh, I'll show you. You've probably seen me do it multiple times, but uh, just kind of push the back. Push them all nice and tight. Smack them in there. That's why you got John Deere horsepower up behind you. This old girl. It's so much easier doing this without a extended uh, vehicle driving. Oh man, that thing that really puts an annoyance on you when you're trying to do that. Okay, there we go. I didn't get these backed in there like the other ones. Uh, uh, uh. Did a little jumperoo. There we go. It's not perfect, but it, oh, oh, I'm just doing a little sliding, a little uh, sticky, icky, greasy on top up here, over here. There we go. Now we just see. I did say this is a 16 bale trailer, and I was wrong. It's a 14 bale trailer. I don't know where I got the 16 at. But uh, it's a 14 bale trailer, so it should hold 14, 7 on each side. Oh man, that's no fun. Now I have to pick her up. I do have to say, no matter how hard it is to get bales perfect for an OCD person, it's still better than bailing with a little square baler. Trust me, I've done a lot of little square bailing in my life. Used to have three self-propelled New Holland little square balers. Boy, let me tell you what. As a child, I hated having to stack little square bales. Pack these in here really good. There we go. Nice and tight. Alright, we're gonna put the last few bales on here. Ooh. Ooh, I could have did a better job at that. Yeah, I'm not impressed with my work there. 
put one more bale in the bucket. Oh, gotta put it on the other side of the bucket. Alright, she's not pretty, but I think she'll stay. Time to haul this over to our cattle yard. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in the 2000s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Oh, Timmy. What did you do? Oh, Timmy.